Hey guys, welcome back, and for anybody that's new, I'm Casey. So today's project was actually inspired by another YouTuber, Daniele, Daniele, Daniele. It's an Italian name. Um, I'm gonna leave the link up there. But I got inspired by his Don't Touch box, and I thought it was really neat, and it had a little bit of an attitude, but I wanted to add my own twist. So I started thinking, and I'm like, what better attitude than Oscar the Grouch? Have him in a trash can instead of in a box. And then I was like, well, what switch would he push? And then I thought a street light, because he wants to light out, because he wants to go sleep. He doesn't want to be disturbed. So that's kind of where this project kind of took me as a little bit of a storyline for you. Um, now, I'm not going to go over the Arduino aspect of it, but it's pretty simple. All you have to do is copy the code, paste it into the Arduino, obviously plug the Arduino into your computer. There is a program that you got to get, but it's very, very easy, especially when the code's already done for you. And that's pretty much what I did in this video. So it's, it's not me writing the code and everything myself, and you wouldn't have to either. So it's a good way to get into a little bit more of a complicated project without having to learn code. So anyways, let's get to it. So the first thing I need to do is make this look more like a trash can. And I think I'm gonna recycle these side bits in order to go on the top. And then I'm gonna remove the rest of it and do a little airbrushing. I was out of black for my airbrush, so I'm just gonna use a rattle can. Sorry about the printer sounds. I got another project going. So I tried taking and painting the design that you would find on common trash cans, but that didn't work out so well. So what I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it all sooty, kind of like this was, because it was an outdoor camping cooking pot but I'm gonna make it look sooty and kind of trashy. And how I'm gonna do that is with this old kerosene light. I'm just gonna light this. As you can see, that makes it look nice and sooty. That'll give it some nice aged look and then I'll clear coat over it. There, that looks like a trash can to me. Got a nice weathered look. Looks old, gringy. I'm gonna take and put a clear coat on it and I'll work on uh, assembly. Admittedly, I should have took and uh, put the holes in here ahead of time. I have no clue. Somehow I got to get this switch up there and in there. This might take some fiddling around. Probably going to upside down jostle it around. I had to trim the back off and I reinforced it a bit. So with some testing, this servo is not going to be powerful enough, so I'm going to have to replace it with this one in order to get that switch to be able to push down.
All right, so I'm going to take and uh, apply a little bit of wipe on poly to finish this up. Real quick, I wanted to mention that no matter how much I tried, I couldn't connect this light to the same batteries as the Arduino. For whatever reason, it, it took too much power away from the Arduino and then the Arduino wouldn't work properly. So when it came to that part, literally I have the battery going over to the switch separately for the light. So literally this light can be used with this off. So technically it's not a useless lamp, but it's a nice little caveat because of the fact it still can be used and this is gonna be for my daughter. If you guys at all like this video, hey, please feel free to give it a like, a share, a subscribe, say something in the comments, just let me know. Hey guys, real quick, if you're liking the video, just throw me a like, hit the, 